It's more common than you might think. Obesity. Obesity is multifactorial and it affects all kinds of people. It's not uncommon that we see families, entire families, that are affected. Dr. Janine Giovanni, director of bariatric surgery at Care New England, talks about why more and more people struggling with their weight after diet and exercise are turning to surgical weight loss. Anybody who has a body mass index greater than 40 or a body mass index greater than 35 with other weight-related problems like diabetes or high blood pressure or sleep apnea should consider weight loss surgery. And in addition to that, anybody who's struggled for a while with their weight, they've tried diet, they've tried exercise, and they feel like it's just not helping them enough. One time I remember being on the school bus and somebody was next to me and I had my legs down and my thighs were huge. And he sort of went like that, like to my thigh, and then went like that to his thigh. And just sort of pointing that out was, was hard to see. At his heaviest, Richard Corso weighed 423 pounds. He says doing the simplest of things, such as walking, became increasingly difficult. I hated flying. I had always wanted to do zip lining. The same was true for Becky Pepper, Lisa Ferry, and Ken Enos, three siblings who struggled with their weight at some point in their lives until it became unhealthy and unbearable to live with. My PCP said to me, have you ever thought of weight loss surgery? I was highly insulted. And then about a week later, I took a good look at myself and said, you know what, I think I do need this. Later on in life is where it really made a big difference as to what I could or couldn't do. I was always out of breath, couldn't walk. My feet would bother me, my legs would bother me. Even just walking. Walking was tough for me, being, being heavy. All eventually doing their research to find out if surgical weight loss was right for them. That research and word of mouth leading them to the Center for Surgical Weight Loss at Care New England and Dr. Giovanni. I fell in love. I mean, she was, she was so easy to talk to and that's really important. And I remember one of the things that she said to me that really has stuck out is that willpower doesn't work. She's not Dr. Giovanni. She's just like a friend. You can talk to her about anything. She's not judgmental. Having weight loss surgery is a big decision. After taking the first step by participating in a free webinar and then being invited to schedule an in-person consultation, each was required to commit to a healthier lifestyle as well as undergo routine testing before surgery. Patients need to be aware that this is truly a journey. I try to partner with my patients, finding out from them how obesity has affected them, what their journey has been like, um, and really what their goals are. Today, all have taken on the challenge of the weight loss journey, lost weight, and have taken their life back by enjoying the things they've only dreamt about. Things are so much better now. Today, Richard weighs 230 pounds. I've done zip lining. I don't fear flying anymore. I don't even fear going back to the doctor. I feel great. I walk all the time in the morning. We take a walk, two and a half mile walk to go get our coffee rather than drive in there. It's not just the surgery, it's the support after the procedure too. And you'll find that there's a lot of practices out there that do this, but you're not gonna find one that's as good as Dr. Giovanni's practice.